Well, as the Major League Baseball lockout continues, both sides just remain far apart on getting a deal done to start the season. Leaving a lot of fans and players, too, wondering how long will it be before the season starts. Our Dacian Smith caught up with a local player to get his take on it. And Dacian, I know the players have to feel frustrated about all this. Mm. Well, just like the fans, Arizona Diamondbacks pitcher Matt Peacock is ready to get back to the ballpark as soon as possible, but it could be a while before we see players report to their teams. It's been just under a week since Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred canceled the first two series of the 2022 season. It was a disappointing announcement, but one that the players expected. We knew it was going to happen the whole time. We knew that they were gonna, we were going to miss some games. During the lockout, players aren't allowed to talk to team personnel, including trainers, leaving players like Arizona Diamondbacks and former Saraland pitcher Matt Peacock to find other ways to stay around the game, like helping out with local schools. I just kind of bounce around and, and kind of help, and, and they let me throw and be a part of their program for a short amount of time. Uh, go to South Alabama, uh, throw against some of their batters. One issue was arbitration, which is when a player and team have a hearing when both sides can't agree to a salary on a new contract. Peacock says the players union gave up getting the arbitration eligibility lowered from three years to two, but both sides remain far apart on two key issues. They're so far apart and the player pool and the uh, minimum uh, salary for players that haven't hit arbitration yet. The players want a deal as soon as possible. The players aren't getting paid right now. You have guys like Freddie Freeman, Carlos Correa, some big name guys who are unemployed. But they're hoping the new deal can benefit themselves as well as future players, Peacock says. Just like lockouts in the past helped today's players. You look at it today, you're like, okay, well they did their strike way back then to set up for us today. So we're kind of doing all this for, for the future of the game. Peacock also urged fans to be patient as both sides continue to negotiate a new collective bargaining agreement. He also says the players are hoping to start the season around May 1st. Byron.